Ghostbusters. This new animated series follows the wild and zany adventures of a trio of wacky Ghostbusters. Their mission, to stop prime evil and his gang of ghastly ghosts, scary spirits and wicked witches from taking over the world. The leader of this brave band is tall and lean Jake Kong. When Jake's nose begins to twitch, you can be sure there's a ghost in the area. Fortunately, he usually comes up with a pretty clever idea about how to deal with them. Jake's sidekick and best friend is Eddie Spencer, the flashy dresser of the Ghostbusters. Eddie's love of new clothes isn't always matched by his courage in the face of creeping evil. But Jake loves him like a little brother. The real brain of the Ghostbusters is a good-natured, king-sized gorilla named Tracy. Got a mechanical problem? Need an anti-gravity machine? Want to fly to Mars? Tracy will figure out a way to do it. Unfortunately, Tracy makes things up as he goes along and never draws plans for his incredible inventions. That's why his dematerializer, that's the Ghostbusters' main ghost-busting weapon, is so valuable. It's one of a kind and Tracy just can't seem to remember how he put it together. The Ghostbusters' office is in a spooky old building filled with weird and wonderful equipment. When the shock clock yells boo-boo, you know it's two o'clock. Typo, their typewriter, prefers dancing to typing. The dead letter file is more likely to give you a headache than a file folder. And worst of all, their telephone, called Ensabone, doesn't like to take messages. It prefers to cackle something like, the Ghostbusters are out to lunch, permanently. When the Ghostbusters do get a ghost report, they race to their transporter stations. The ghost alarm goes off at full power. Spirits and specters streak around the office, and chilling screams and howls are heard. Crazy-looking Ghostbuster uniforms drop down on our zany trio. Jake shouts, Go, go, Ghostbusters! And the action begins. When things really get rough for the Ghostbusters, especially when they're making one of their many trips through time and space, they call on their friend Futura, a sorceress from the distant future. Another frequent companion, and maybe a little more than that to Jake, is Jessica Ray, a TV reporter. More than once, Jessica has helped the Ghostbusters get out of a ghostly jam. Outside the office, the Ghostbusters travel in a rundown, constantly complaining jalopy called the Ghost Coaster. Although the coaster has the power to change into anything from a sub to a spaceship, it really doesn't like to work. It's afraid of ghosts, and most of all, it can't stand Tracy the Gorilla. No matter. Tracy's inventive mind usually finds a funny way to shut down the coaster's insults. Standing tall in stark, scary opposition to the Ghostbusters is our villain, a hopelessly nasty character called Prime Evil. Unfortunately, his group of inept ghouls and silly spooks just can't seem to give Prime Evil the help he needs for his determined effort to put the Ghostbusters in his private jail and then take over the world. But so far, they've given him a bad time. However, he still has some spooky plans to trap them. The Ghostbusters' adventures will take them to the past, the present, and the future from muddled history to high-tech hijinks in deep, dark space. So next time you hear a creaky door, or a crash of thunder on a rainy night, or a strange moaning sound outside your window, don't be scared. Call in the Ghostbusters.